89.7. This is the moment where we get to get to informed and talk incisively about various issues. We mind our business, but we put it on the scope. Welcome to my scope. I have Segilola here. Hi, 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 hey, hi. Good hi. afternoon, sis. <laughs> Great to be back. All right, Mindscope. how have you been? Uh, yes, uh, well, very, very well. Okay. And, uh, thank God. Christmas is here. I was just, just going to down. say that. I, I've started <laughs> receiving Christmas gifts. Oh, really? Oh, Christmas is early this year yes. for you. Very early. Very early. Oh, my, my goodness. My own Christmas came in November. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that, that's fantastic. Right. And uh, right. what else can I say to everyone? Please let, let us spread some joy. Yeah. Yeah, a lot has happened exactly. in the course of the year, a, lot, a whole a lot, lot. A lot, and we still have some more happening. Mm. Okay, so yeah. sometimes Let's you need the fresh hair. Exactly. Let's be intentional about celebrating. Celebrate, celebrate yourself mm. first. Celebrate yeah. yourself first. That's true. You, know? you can't I mean, give what you don't have. I'm telling you. So spread joy, yeah. spread love. You know, when I was coming this morning mm. over the weekend yesterday, I was thinking of what to wear actually. And in my mind, working forth was a green uh, pantsuit. And I said, green? Hmm. Actually, you don't want to know what I thought about when I said that green. I said, hmm. Reminds me of all those maternity clinics. <laughs> my goodness, don't mind me. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't just imagine. <laughs> It's a Monday motivation. I need something to put some life and mm -hmm, add some sunshine. The colors. I just said, let me wear this. Ah, if nobody praises me, let me praise myself. But so. I must say that <laughs> I love this gown. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. It's just got that colorful appeal. <laughs> wow. I, I, I love that inspiration. And okay. you've actually inspired me, you mm. know. You always inspire Oh, me. my yeah. goodness. I'm always looking forward <laughs> to having you every Monday. And that's what we love doing on MindScope. Exactly. Just, just Spread that joy. Mm -hmm. Spread it. Right. And uh, let's try as much as possible the season. I know it's possible, really. Mm -hmm. Please don't bully anyone. Please. You know, sometimes we limit bullying to children. Adults bully. Social media bully. It cuts across. Even in religious circles, we bully. And we, in fact, one of the things we need to understand on my scope today is who really is a bully? Hmm. What does it mean? You know, I was reading someone? comments in line with what happened mm. the, uh, about the boy, and I'm sorry it's about so that. And we commiserate with the family. And then someone commented and said, oh, so some of these people commenting and giving their sympathy and all that, they were once top bullies when they were in high school themselves. True. Yeah. And that's why, why, you know, when you start pointing fingers at people, you got to check yourself. Hmm. So Where did we, how did we uh, get here? Honestly. And thank God today on Mindscope, we have an amazing sister hmm. and friend yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. A seasoned <laughs> twins the counselor. The lady with the haircut. Yeah. yeah. You know, she, she just got that look mm -hmm. that makes her new every time I see her. She just appears, she appears like a new wife every time. Really? <laughs> Mr. Oladele, well done. <laughs> No, Mrs. Oladele is doing well for herself too. I yeah. mean, if he's we doing know, something we know. and then she's not complimenting it, he wouldn't show. It's true, it's true. Because behind, uh, beside now, beside, beside, every, beside every successful man uh, is a woman. Yeah. And beside every successful woman is mm -hmm. also, you know, a man. Yeah. That's, Wonderful. That's cool. That's so it's cool. great to have uh, Ellen Oladele wow. back on Mindscope. Ellen, how are you doing? Um, very well it feels good to just see you ladies talk this morning i, I feel like entering your morning <laughs> oh, so smoothly so beautifully thank you it's sis. good to be here again this morning it's good I to not spread the for beauty and you can you. see everywhere mm. here mm. Mm. thank god thank you. everywhere thank is you. colorful and so let's start uh, the conversation in, in as much as it's really touching mm. okay we we just need to focus on the aspect of parenting, parenting in this uh, in this whole uh, case about the bo the twelve year old uh, boy that lost his life, and um, it's like uh, what Doblo said, it's really a time for us to dig and seek what really can we do better, even as parents, 
this is not a time to start pointing fingers and all that. What can we learn from this? And to start up, there is this uh, proverb we often say uh, when people talk about the fact that uh, charity starts at home. Yeah, I believe that. But you know one powerful thing about that particular proverb for me is that when you try to translate it in, into one's native language, it brings a deeper, it carries deeper weight. Yorubas will translate that in other words, you bring forth treasures from the house. The treasures, they have to come forth from the house. But a situation where there's no treasure in the house. So what do you want to take out? You take out, pre you take out pressure. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's and no that's treasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some people are deluded. They, own, they, they see treasure as possibly those sophisticated possessions. I'm not saying it's not good, but thank God we are listening. Mm -hmm. It's not just about having the toys, having the electronic gadgets and all. It's, not, it's much more than that. Yeah. Yes. Treasure trickles down to the values, values, the values we are passing on. Today, we need to understand who is a bully. The topic mm -hmm. it really is how to raise a child who is not a bully. So who is a bully? Let's start from there. Okay. A person who habitually repeatedly seek to harm or intimidate those who they perceive as vulnerable those who they perceive as vulnerable those who they perceive as cannot speak up for themselves and they want to intimidate them with the intention of causing harm through teasing through forcing to do what they don't want to do because sometimes it doesn't have to be something physical causing physical harm it could be something that the other person is not comfortable about. Somebody you're calling the person a particular name or just tickling or any act of touching the person, whatever it is you're doing to the person, repeat that the person, I don't like it. And you keep on doing repeatedly, it. Repeatedly. Repeatedly. Yes, habitually. Because we have seen, because of all these things that's happened, people have been saying, if you touch my daughter, I will kill you. If you fight with my son, I will, I will injure you. No, it is not a one-time-off thing. It is mm -hmm. something that uh, will be happening repeatedly, or repeated occurrence before you can conclude that it is bullying and with the intention of causing harm or discomfort to that person. Let me read out the one I have because I had to mm -hmm. seek and do my research. A bully is someone who hurts or frightens someone else, often over a period of, period of time and often forcing them to do something that they do they not want, want to, to do, do. Yes. and so there are some key words there the intention so of hurting he or she the bully wants to frighten yes. another person with the intention of imposing his or her own oh, will yeah. on another person. person so you can see where we need to draw the lines yes because if we don't understand it, this seems to be a common word now with what is trending on social media. Mm -hmm. And so if a parent wants to correct a child now, you can see some terrible comments, some children pass. Mommy is bullying me. Or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't allow, as a parent, don't allow your child to manipulate mm -hmm. you. These are things we need to clarify today on MindScope. Yes. So we've come to that conclusion, really. A bully has the intention of hurting or frightening the other person yes, with the intention of imposing his or her own will. Now, let's look at the behavioral patterns of a bully. Can you okay. discuss that with so us? So when you talk about behavioral pattern of a bully, there are different angles to it. There are some bullies that they are suffering chronic low self-esteem. And they want to feel good about themselves. Chronic, chronic low self-esteem, as a result of their parents, where they are coming from. Because parents are saddled with the responsibility of nurturing their children, building their self-esteem. Mm. So when a child has been battered, mm. blamed, shamed, criticized, compared, condemned. Shut from the down home, shut down from the home. That child would, would grow up with no, it's not, it is not a matter of low again, no, no, no self esteem. 
so when this child gets out there he wants to feel good about himself and he sees another human being is vulnerable he sees another human being who he feels ah, i think i'm I still i'm still better than this one <laughs> then he wants to use up that authority and again because in our society we are people we are ma majority of us are bullies all of us we are bullies from the leader from law enforcement agencies from everybody offices subordinates to uh, uh, boss to the subordinates parents to children we see children as non-existent entity you don't i mean as a child you're not allowed to speak up you are not allowed to make opinion even on decisions that concerns you you're not allowed to contribute to, to discussions so all these things are bottled up all these things affect mm. the psychology of that child Mm. The, a child is a reasoning being. He's not a mini adult. He's a, he's a person on his own. So we, we do things for them. We shut them and we don't allow them to express themselves. And when they are happy, you say, well, kill on do no. And what is it? We kill on do no. You oh, Nero, no. I mean, when they are sad, you say, go and play. You see your mates playing, go and play. We don't want to care. Right from when the child is a baby, you back a baby, the baby is crying. Shut up, shut up. Crying, crying, baby. Crying, crying, baby. You don't even care what to bring the baby down. Baby, what is it? What is the matter? Maybe the diapers is soaked. Maybe it needs to. You don't you care less. Shut up, shut up. Crying, crying, baby. Till the baby becomes a toddler and until he becomes a teenager, what have you? We have shut that child down. And by the time he gets out there, he wants to at least feel some form of power. And he sees some others, juniors. Oh, I'm, I'm at least I'm better than this one. They know yeah, you signed up there. Go, yeah, go kneel down. Just mm. want to feel good. Mm. So, and again, there is a part of temperament. When, because as a parents, you need to understand the temperaments of your children. When you have, when your child is predominantly choleric you know that choleric are bossy naturally they just want to have their way is that my way or i way when you have that as a child <laughs> i pity those people who whose children are predominantly choleric and they are phlegmatic when you get to that situation you just feel like the parents are the children you see that anything i want mm, okay what i think about you i don't want because they are very very persistent it's what they want is what they want is what they want so those children you know that naturally there's a tendency for them to be bossy so mm -hmm. when you don't nurture them when you don't teach them with empathy when there's when you don't train them up with inculcating moral values positive values into them they get out there and before before you know it they start bossing people around and depending on how you deal with people around you because hmm. we are mod we are modeling character to these children more beyond what we say they see us how we do things how we talk to our domestic staff our, our driver our sh you see they see us so we have modeled these things to these children so by the time they get out there remember that when they look at you by, by the time they want to do their own they add their own source to it they add extra to it though because all of us now we are clamoring and hey, this one is a bully oh look look we did because we all come on social media and when i was a junior some you know okay why are the people bullying others are they ghosts because nobody is saying hey, i bully some people when mm -hmm. i wasn't no everybody is claiming victim and meanwhile all of us we are culpable because when we talk about the bully himself or herself you talk about enablers some others will gather and be laughing <laughs> it's so funny when others when someone is not happy when someone is feeling intimidated by another person's behavior and you are standing by you are just laughing it's so funny hey, hey, hey. okay touch let's see how it how she will behave again or something so we are is it that we are bullies or we are enablers hmm. so we have modeled these things to children we cannot control what's happening in the society but we have control over what happened in, in our family in our own family how are we raising children what who are we as parents. as parents who are we personally as a person who are we something happened in my children's school and the parents was complaining that these children they don't even greet they will just pass out and i just looked at him and just smile i say it is very easy to shift the blame to another person this is a situation that two parents will be coming driving opposite each. one will not wait for the other i used to be that you my can't you mm. see i'm come you abuse yourself every morning dropping your children off and now you're complaining that these children don't greet and mm. i don't get it do you think they are not seeing the way you fight every morning 
Why are you why are you blaming? Why are you pointing accusing fingers? It is very easy and convenient for us to do these things, but we need to look inward as parents. These children, it is our duty to nurture them. It is our duty. We need to sit up. We need to get knowledge. We need to be intentional. We need to pray. Or oh, please, I don't want to go as much as I don't want to go religion. But then children come in is a new product that you don't even have a manual. No manual for it. But so the, the maker who gives the child, you have to go back because when you buy a product, it's not working to the specification, you return it back to the manufacturer where you get it from. Okay, this product is a new product, it's not working. So when your child is not even is exhibiting some behavior that you know within yourself that you didn't pick that from you, then you want to go back to the manufacturer. Sure. Sure. So, among other things that you need to depict the friends, the influence in the life of that child, and all that. So, it's a whole lot. All right, I welcome you back to Mind Scope on Equity 9.7 FM. I am Segi Lola and Omla Bisio Midirish is right here working with me. Our dear guest today is Ellen Oladili. She is a teens counselor and uh, an intentional parenting advocate. And we're still discussing how to raise a child who is not a bully. All right, uh, we've been talking about who a bully is and what are some of the behavioral patterns that you observe when your child is a bully and Ellen okay we have a call hello, hello good, afternoon. good afternoon your name please I welcome you to Mindscope your name and where you're calling from okay Saeed Adeyemo all right where you calling from Saeed from lasso okay okay right on okay so let's hear from you sorry Mention that word. I said when she said doesn't want to renege uh of religion. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh there's no way to talk about uh five um training. Yeah. Okay. Training or even Okay. Thank you very much, Saeed. Okay, uh, what is actually pointing at is at what point do you draw the line with, between uh, child discipline and bullying? 
please child discipline and bullying are not the same thing at all i don't i don't even want to go into it because this because we don't we have a uh, how do i put it now we have um we have misunderstood the meaning of discipline to be beaten discipline discipline means to teach to instruct so it doesn't have anything to be to do with beating at all you can have a uh, disciplinary measures you can have something like punishments for 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 children for certain behavior of which we know we always cause a uh, spare the rod and spoil the child and all that the rod can be anything because the bible the same bible says that a rod and that it's have the comforts me i don't think a rod a beating will comfort anyone Mm. As even as so the rod could be anything it could be words of mouth it could be your advice because even in the bible mm. there was no place that we said that children were beaten they went uh, it's only adults even that were beaten when jesus beats them in the when they were in the temple i think i'm right there is no there was no way where children were beaten so it is it is an is another <laughs> topic entirely yeah, that, so i don't that, that, it's a whole lot exactly. i don't even want to that's go another dimension into, to it yes so what yeah, what we're question talking about, about is child discipline child discipline okay. that one is different from bullying from bullying yes it's okay. different from bullying okay so if you want to we're talking about how to raise a child who is not, who a, is bully. not a bully it's has to start with the parents okay. because well meaning well many parents bully their children okay well many people bully other people and um ellen I, I just want to add some things to what Saeed, you know, raised. Talking about the child discipline was different. How do you draw the line from child discipline and bullying? I'm looking at it from the angle of corrective measures. You know, when we look at parenting, we are not saying here that there's abs ab there's any perfect parent because no two parents are the same. No two children, even children, they are unique. Every child. They are unique in their own way. And so even as a parent, if you have two, you have more than one, do you know that even the discipline, the corrective measures you apply to one may not necessarily work, you know, for the other one. That's where, Ellen, when you mentioned temperament, yes. comes in. They are just some children. I mean, they are tough. Toughness, I mean, in terms of their will. They are just some children. And the truth is you need to know your child as a parent, right? Yes. And so sometimes as parents, I think where we fall short is when, uh, will I say, a child does something or misbehaves and you're so spontaneous about, you, you react and you, you, you don't, you are not so conscious to know which of your parenting tools or corrective measure to apply at a particular time, right? Yes. What do you yes. think? Yes. Like, like, I want to say something concerning what he mentioned. I think that when it comes to using the rod or any disciplinary measures you want to take, ensure that you engage the child. Okay. Because even in a court of law, when a, when a criminal is even caught in the act, you still have the right to engage a lawyer. So, you're just beating the child. You're just condemning, blaming, insulting, abusing the child without even giving the child room to mm. express him. Because by the time you even talk, you might even find out that he's not as bad as you think it is. Mm. So, for us not to bully your children, children cannot be left on their own. You must True. discipline. You must. Yes, that is why they are born into a family. That's why they are born into with, uh, to stay with an adult. So, you True. must discipline them. Best engage them engage them and, and let there be that communication communication and then communicate expected behavior ahead of time because most cases it has it's at the point that the child is doing that something wrong you are beating the child you are correcting at the same time so communicate expectation ahead of time set boundaries be consistent with whatever consequences you have put in place because these children they know how to manipulate us they know what mm. to do to get you to it's true to just soften up and they, just they be, know they know us very well so you have to be firm and consistent Assertive. and assert and consistent if you have done this thing done this wrong this is your this is the consequences you can cry from you oh come on now you can sit down and cry louder cry. every any position you deem fit take it and cry but by, you, by the time you are done this is the consequence you are still going to fulfill it be assertive and be consistent in with time they will they, they will come like they will know that ah this one it won't work for my mommy because even children within them so you need to see teenagers within eh, <laughs> my daddy will not say go hmm. if you like do anything my daddy will not allow you understand that That's kind of thing so you cannot indulge them because we are saying don't bully children does not mean that you should indulge, indulge them, them no. over pamper no, them. no no you don't do if you indulge a child that child will become a liability to himself 
and to the, to the family and then to the and society. it's also it's also part of it because you we need to avoid the extremes yes That's yes, yes there should be a balance yeah there should be a balance there's it the, the other extreme is neglect uh, when you neglect you neglect yes so when there you should indulge, be a balance yes, exactly yes, when you abuse or when you indulge. and then when you don't use the correct uh, measures, measures. What, what I'm saying there is that's one of the reasons why you have emotional wrecks. Yes. Some of those children, they're so bottled up. You talked, you mentioned earlier, that's the reason a child can be withdrawn at home. Yes. A child, you see the child, that some of them, they are so pretentious. I don't know. When it comes to pretending, mm -hmm. some children, uh, well, that's another because area. Because it is the way that we have trained them. Okay. We don't allow them to be there to be themselves around us. Like mm. a mother was telling me, ah, my daughter is ten years. I have high expectation of her. She is well trained. She, has. she can yes, she is well trained. She cannot do anyhow. Mm. That child will pretend to you because that's what you want. You don't allow your children to make mistakes in your presence. You are coming in, they are running for shelter. Everybody is running for cover because that is coming. You must behave. No. Let them be themselves. Let them make their mistake around you so that you can have an idea of the some children, some children, they have pseudo, pseudo behavior. They have to, they are too, <laughs> like, like a sword. They are different behavior for home and for school. I mean, tell you here what they do is to say, hey, my child, lie, lie, he cannot be my child. My child, if I tell him to sit down, he will sit down. He cannot do that. He's a lie. You know what I'm, I get from there? When we place undue expectations, expectations on our children, yes. you know what we are doing? We are actually teaching them to pretend. To pretend. We are the one teaching them. And when the they don't pretend, we are the one teaching them and to pretend. You, 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 that story of the woman, she has expectations. Yes. Yeah. But have you carried the child, child along? Long. That's another area. A 10-year-old, you're saying a 10-year-old cannot misbehave. Ah, no, I expectations. And you know where the undue expectations also come from? That place of comparing. Oh, Jesus. Don't Some parents mm. even, you know, they are... They are, the, the, the home seems to be a breeding ground for sibling rivalry. Yes. Because when you begin to compare, look, your own sister is not like this. Mm -hmm. You begin no, to compare no. a child with another. Mm -hmm. You are that's placing an undue expectation on, on the, the child. child, and you're saying you don't want the child to pretend. pretend. That's a lie. He, he, he will pretend very well for you. Okay. Another area we are not looking at as parents, especially mothers. Okay. I've seen toddlers hitting the other toddler if you, i'm sure you must have seen that and then the next thing the mother is saying hey he's just playing mm. what sort of play is that <laughs> what sort of a play is that it begins from there mm. a child picks up a plank pick up something injurious to himself and to the other party and hit that one and the child start laughing and mm. then the mother says, hey, he's just mm. playing he doesn't know caution the child from that moment the moment you let it go, he grows up or she grows up believing that, oh, that's, that's the normal thing. thing. A child doesn't know at that age if how injurious or the implication of what mm -hmm. he's doing. Mm -hmm. We just say, oh, especially if it's just the only child. We say, mm -hmm. eh, no, no, no. Do you know how long it took me to have this that's child? Right. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I know how to... It doesn't work it that doesn't way. We, we, do, we do such things. Some of us know how, how high-handed, how... how um, um some of our children have attitudinal problems but we hide and pamper mm. them you know this child can like you said wants to have his or away every time mm -hmm. you yourself are having difficulty maintaining or managing your child. child and then you hear that this child has committed a certain offense no this, this cannot happen so mm -hmm. much child. i am don't you know my family our family name mm -hmm. it has got nothing to do with your family or family mm -hmm. name yes, yes it might be something you said probably the, okay somebody was telling me of um a young boy yeah i think about an eight or nine just this morning I think he had an issue with a classmate and then the boy says okay when I get to school today I think he had something to do over the weekend on uh, Friday he said when I get to school Monday I'm going to beat her up that's what how to treat a girl you beat them up hmm. that's so, coming from a nine-year-old boy uh -huh. it's so coming that, that, that mentality is coming from it's somewhere coming. It's coming from, from somewhere. somewhere. Revenge. Mm. No, not it's even revenge. revenge. The fact that you can think that because that person is a girl, you yeah, can beat the yes. person up. Mm -hmm. Or because yes. you feel, oh, my parents are going to do something mm -hmm. about another, it. Another, but another. The parents need to look inward. Yes. And then sometimes the, mm. the, the, the ones, the victims, those who are being bullied, there are signs. There are signs. We live mm. in the climate where we believe that when somebody hits you, you hit back. Mm. And they say, oh. An eye for an eye. An eye yes. for an eye. A child is quiet, not hitting by say, uh, yeah, let's go back there, go and fight. Especially if it's a girl that's been, that is eating the boy. Yeah, hey, are you a boy? I look a at boy. You. Look I at feel you. like a girl. Come on, rise up. Mm -hmm. 
But you know, what, those what? are the things you hear. Somebody yes. is driving on the road. Is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's no wonder. Uh, it's a woman. Oh my goodness. No wonder. It's These so are the things annoying. that I've come across a couple Jeez. of them. No wonder. And then we see these things we overlook. The child comes home, we draw, starts with drawing, rather quiet, would rather be jumps at every step. So I did we overlook it. Mm. And the child even says, I don't want to that school, I don't want to go back to that school. We do not sit mm. down to actually objectively critically look at why is he or she saying, saying this and, we look mm. at the, and then what we say is you know how much i've paid for that school, school. <laughs> that's serious yeah we we'll say it mm. you're just lazy you're wicked mm. you don't you're want to know the lame. value or how much it took me i'm giving you the best some other children out there mm. don't, don't have, have the opportunity those when are the I'm lines like, we give and I'm then we make the child feel guilty the victim the, the victim, victim. Can we look at Sometimes we are making the child live out the life we we lost mm, in war. Mm, mm. I have suffered my children. I went to body school so my child should mm. go to body school. You are, your child is not you. And the teachers then are not the teachers mm. now. The body house then you know, we are so used to toxic not toxic it, it, things. It, it's all about placing on due expectations, you know. Yeah. Let's look at that. Who area says it is only when you go listening. to body houses that you you learn? Mm. Those are values that's, that mm. have been acquired. <laughs> I don't know. Which, is it? Honestly, but for me, you know what we are saying is, can we all discuss, it, look in words, and mm -hmm. see where are those areas you might need to just adjust. You understand? And then yes. there's some areas is about prioritizing certain things above others. Double mentioned, you know, the, 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 the area, the aspect of, okay, uh, my child, I, I was this, uh, in school I was that, and then the area of negligence where the child is raising a particular issue mm -hmm. and some of us just, no, 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 you are lazy. Down. I think listening. Listening to the child. Please, Ellie, yes. tell us more. How can a, a parent listen to a child and what are the, what's the significance? Listening to the child goes to the roots, the dignity of that child, goes to the roots of the person of that child. When you don't listen to the, to a child, you are reduced that child to a non non entity. Because the ch okay, take for instance, I'm here. I have something to say. You guys are just talking, and I, I say I want to talk. Say, so, hey, what what do you have to say? Do you know how I will feel? Mm. Just put yourself in that situation. And the child wants to talk, and the child says, "What is it? Let me hear. You talk too much." And then, da, 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 da. Do you understand? So we must create time to listen to the child. You know your child, and this child just all of a sudden become withdrawn, not eating, they machete, and you're like, oh, I, I mean, and you're not paying attention. You're just busy, busy, busy. We need to make money. Busy. Fantastic. You don't know the word busy. Yes, we need to make money. Baby, most when you hmm. have a child, when you make a decision to have children, because having children is a is is not a reflex action. It's a, it's a voluntary you know that the, i want to have a child you must make sacrifices things will not be the way you were it was when you were single you must create the time you don't have to be with the child 24 hours nobody True. can even do that so we are here now True. our children are somewhere but that True. little time you have to Let's spend it let it count exactly. for what counts and that was why Listen. i wrote about remote parenting yes so Listen parents are just absent if it, okay you're talking to the child that sometimes my daughter will be just moody what is it? nothing i know as okay no problem you don't want to talk about calm down everybody will go about our duty i will come back hello treasure was it nothing mom i don't want to talk okay till the till the night i will not stop because when your child say i'm nothing i'm fine don't stop at that at that point okay you want to be alone leave the child mm. go back to ensure you get to the root of the matter when the child knows that you will not this woman will not give up there is a the time it will, she will open up to you this True. is what is happening. So there, 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 there are times when we need to be persuasive. Yes, we and must I think be. that's where that skill, you know, we're, we talk to, we define the bully as someone who hurts or frightens someone else, mm. often over a period, of a period of time, and often forcing them to, to do, do something, something they do not want, want to, to do. do. And, what I'm and seeing sometimes, there, mm. they might not really be forcing them to do anything. Like, okay. I was bullied when I was in primary school. This girl, she's the oldest in our class. She just ensured that when she sees me, she said that she flicked my cheek tap me where i don't like or beat me on my boss and, and she, i hate her she has an intention she, mm -hmm. so okay. she would just want to what is it, you i'm a teacher go and sit down she just want to do something and i don't she it was consistent oh okay hello, hello. Okay, okay. hello good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. okay you, 
Oh, great, great to have you back. Okay, let's yeah. let, let's hear you again. Um, she not mention that um, our children is uh, not an involuntary action that is uh, something uh, becoming, you know, or the people is twisted. Um, looking at our society today, we have uh, quite a number of people who take children they don't just impregnated themselves without caring hmm. or caring for True. So when you have a, how do you call them, baby parents themselves, who are supposed to be the other children themselves, we don't expect much. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you very much, Sahid. He's talking about more about people who probably came into a parenting tr you know, in an accidental way. They, were, they, they weren't prepared for, for it. Well, uh, well, I wouldn't blame such people for okay. that. Let's, let's put that in perspective. We have p parents who actually plan, plan deliberately. deliberately have children. So okay. bullying has got nothing to, let's not stereotype. Because there's many gone, aspects yeah, to be that's true. No, that's there are many true. aspects. But we have adults who are bullied too. Yes. Exactly. So, but we are not focusing on that. Exactly. So let's not stereotype and say okay. it's those ones that yeah. does those maybe have babies out of wedlock. Yeah. Yeah. So there are no, no, no excuses. There's no excuses mm. by anyone. Okay. Excuse let's for let's hear from you as we wrap up. So how to raise a child who is not a bully? Let's just hear from you. So parents look inward. Okay. If you are hurting from your past abuse, from past bullying, you need to get help because you cannot. So hurting people will hurt other people. Okay. There are some parents who are bullying their children ignorantly, unknowingly. They don't want to. They love their children, but mm. unfortunately, they bully them because they are hurting. It's always from abundance of what they have. They are giving out. So if you mm. need to seek help, seek help and do the right thing with your children. Bullies are born and bred in a home. They are not. They are not invented from other pla other planets. We need to look inward and do the right thing. Thank you very much. And I just want to conclude on the spaces that, look, when you talked about uh, the, uh, the other time, many of us bullies, they have low, chronic low, low self-esteem. Self yes. I look at it from the path that, look, a bully does not have the capacity to deliver love. And it's coming from still that is the root cause is because the, the, the bully has been raised in such a way that, look, love is not even part of his or our chemistry. And sometimes love is misappropriated. Yes. And so what are we saying? Capacity. Because that's what I'm saying. When somebody wants to impose his or her own will on no, others, no, no, no. it's a sign of a gap, yes. leadership gap, persuasion. There's a problem. The, yeah, exactly. So how do we bridge that communication gap? You don't need to dictate. Even if it's your child, there's a way you can let come at the level read yes, come down reason, to the level of the child reason, thank reason you very much child, yes. and so please i think that all i see you have your own okay <laughs> we brought that up dear idea listener there's so much to talk about but well i believe that we've been able to really dish out words of wisdom and dear parents i, I still need to say this yes some of us will say we are we are busy busy please this is time to prioritize. There's certain seeds you are sown, sowing now. Let me, the truth is, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. So prioritize what things, what are those things that are really, really important. And that is very, very is key. I don't know how to emphasize this, but I'm pouring this out to you so you can know that, look, you don't have an excuse to raise a, a bully. Please, let's set our priorities right. Remember our mind scope, a right attitude wins always. I'm Segilola. Save me, save me, save me. Save me from myself. Save me from this earth. Oh, save me. Love me, love me, love me, love me not in death.